Vivek and in this particular video I thought let's give you a challenge problem because I was trying to make some videos on like lead code weekly and all but I thought like, the last few problems were not that interesting to make a video on so I thought let's pick up some technique that I know about and you would love to learn about that and in this pro particular problem we'll talk about one such idea which is uh, essentially the question over here uh, find the number of subgrids having not minimum but maximum equal to x okay find the number of subgrids having maximum of that subgrid as equal to equal to x exactly equal to x okay and you are given a grid of n cross m you have to find the number of subgrids which has minimum equal to x numbers can be obtained to power 9 think about this particular grid the maximum sorry not minimum maximum okay the maximum equal to x so maximum in this case is 5 which is not equal to the x okay but if you think about this particular grid the maximum is equal to 3 right if you think Think about this particular subgrid, the maximum is equal to 3. If you think about this particular subgrid, the maximum is equal to so, 2, so this will not be counted, right? So you have to think about how many subgrids exist which has maximum equal to, exactly equal to 3, okay? So it's a pretty beautiful problem and I'll give you certain subtasks for this. One would be n comma m is up till 100, okay? Two, n comma m will be up till 500. Three, n comma m will be up till 2000, okay? So let's see, these are the three different, uh, like, three different subtasks. Try to solve it for 100 first, then think about how do you solve it for, for 500, and then how, how you might solve about this and if the constraints are up to 2000, right? Uh, so that's the question, that's what you are looking for this time. Uh, it's a pretty good technique. Most probably I will make a video very soon talking about at least the first and second format. The third is a little harder. This is for people who are pretty good in CP and who watches my channel who follow me so this it's, it's like a challenge problem for you all right uh, but it's, it's a it's a pretty impressive question okay so think about this and let me know in the comments what are your thoughts okay um and i'll make more videos on the like learning side too but i think since the last one problem that i looked at lead code hard was not that hard so i was okay okay like we can make a new video on the, something interesting right so challenge problem solve this i'll make a solution video on this very very soon okay see you then bye